Hey guys, what's up? So, uh, for those of you running the Chinese diesel heater and experiencing low voltage problems, if you've installed it using the existing wiring for your uh, propane furnace, you've replaced your propane furnace, you have a low voltage problem. What happens is the voltage tends to drop all the way down to 8 volts, which is well below the low voltage cutoff. And then you end up spitting out an error. I think it's error 01, which is low voltage. So here's my solution to fix it. Went on Amazon and I bought a DC to DC buck boost converter. Now it's very important that you make sure that this converter is over 150 watts, preferably closer to 200 or more. You don't need to go too high because uh, essentially this, this uh, heater draws about uh, nine to 12 amps during startup. And that's because of the glow plug. Glow plug uh, gets very hot, create, uses a lot of power to start up. So uh, that being said, you're gonna have a lot of voltage sag, especially over those existing wires that are uh, running to the, the old propane furnace. So uh, when you're running off a battery, if you're starting off at 12.4 volts, or if you got lithium battery, just starting off at 12.8 volts, um, <clears throat> that voltage is gonna sag very low, especially with those thinner wires. So the solution to this is to raise the voltage that's going to the furnace. Now in my case, the fridge and the furnace are on the same fuse, which is fine. I, I bought this buck boost converter. I adjusted the voltage to 14 volts and I uh, wired the input of that uh, buck boost converter into the output of the fuse. And then I ran the negative to the uh, negative post inside of my, uh, my power panel. And uh, as you can see in the video here next, uh, you'll see how I put it in there. And this raises the voltage and then I'm gonna show you the heater. I'm gonna show you the, the voltage reading on the heater itself and how it never goes below 12 volts. And now uh, I have eliminated that problem with startup. Before, I would have to actually turn on my converter and artificially boost the voltage of the 12 volt system. And that was 13.7 volts and it still had some issues. It still sagged pretty low, but with this buck boost converter, I raised the voltage sufficiently to the point where um, it compensates for voltage drop and it continuously pushes a higher voltage through. And, uh, you know, if you look up Ohm's law, whatever, um, what, what you have is when, when you, when you have a, a, a lot larger load getting pulled over a long distance of wire, um, it's going to pull more amps through that wire to compensate and the voltage drops. So there's a, there's a mathematical equation for Ohm's law and that's what's happening. That's why the voltage drops. So check out this video here. I recommend buying one of these uh, converters. Solves my problem. I no longer have to turn on the converter to, to artificially boost the voltage of the system to get it to start and then have to wait for it to start up and then turn off. It, it, so this solved my problem. And what you're seeing here is the power panel on the RV. And I'm removing the plastic cover so I can get to the terminals. And uh, I'm going to connect the uh, buck boost converter positive input goes to the uh, terminal on the fuse and the uh, negative goes to the negative post here i'm going to pull this out so you can see what this buck boost converter looks like here this is the one i bought on amazon it cost me about 15 bucks and it's it's effective it works I'm gonna push this back in here i was very careful to make sure that none of the uh, exposed terminals touch any metal and then here on the on the heater control panel, you're gonna see the voltage here. If you press the OK button a couple times, you're gonna see voltage. I'm gonna turn it on, go back to the voltage. You're gonna see as this voltage starts to sag, it started off at 15 volts or just above, uh, just below 15 volts. And you're gonna watch this voltage sag all the way down to 12 volts because the, uh, the glow plug is drawing a lot of power for the initial startup. It's not very long, so it doesn't drain the battery much, but it is a significant amount of power about uh, My understanding is about 12 amps And so that's why you see this voltage start to drop, but as long as it doesn't drop uh, too low uh, We should be okay, and it should be started up and, and, the, and the, as long as the voltage stays up around 12 volts You're gonna get a nice hot burn on the glow plug and if your voltage is getting too low during startup What you can end up with as well is a lot of soot buildup around that screen on the uh, the burn chamber of this heater and you may have to end up replacing that screen quite often if your voltage gets too low because quite frankly the, the glow plug isn't getting hot enough to really burn off that fuel and so it tends to start building up and collecting all right so guys so there you have it that was my solution to fix this problem i have with low voltage and it, it only goes on this one circuit and the fridge shares it so that's fine the sh the, the, vo the fridge is not going to be hurt by a little higher voltage this is essentially the same voltage you'd get when you turn on the converter 
or when you're uh, charging a battery. So anyway, I hope this video helped you guys out and uh, uh, leave a comment if, this, uh, if you tried this and it worked for you.